Also, Bethesda, I hate you because I sit here and I start playing this game on Saturday and then they start emailing me about like, oh, I have literally no arrows. You fucking asshole game. How? Can I kill them still like this? I think so. I don't know how I can do that without my powers, but apparently that can still happen. Oh, dude, Toasty, completely. It's one of those things that makes streaming so fucking awesome. It's like, when you start streaming, you're like, you don't think of all the places that like people are gonna come in. Dude, my podcast isn't super big. Like it's, it's growing, but slowly. But like even that, like you see people from like, all over the world downloading episodes. It's fucking cool, man. It's cool because it's like, oh man, that means people from like all over the world are listening to this shit. They want your hot rod bod. I mean, I don't know how much of this bod is hot or rod, but it is rod. I don't fucking know what I'm saying anymore. I don't have my weird powers right now, right? So I don't know where the little thing is to shoot. You are all rod. I mean, I am 100% rod. There is not a uh, non rod bone in this body. Okay, so. Apparently I have to go that way still. Hopefully you can sneak up behind this asshole and ex oh god. I was kinda hoping that last arrow would shoot him in the dick, but it did not, in fact, shoot him in the dick. Ah. Uh. It's a uh, toasty. It's that thing of uh, of self confidence and like imposter syndrome that it's like fighting constantly. And it's gotten better over the years, believe me. Like I, streaming has actually it was it'll be funny to hear out loud, but like has helped my self confidence n instead of the other way around. But yeah. Oh, there's another one of the hat ladies. I don't like the hat ladies. Hat ladies are. Coons. Oh, was that my last arrow? Nice. I fucking completely missed her. Turn on. Turn on, lady. Turn on, fucking scissors lady. Come on, turn on. It's funny, man. Like, I had supportive parents growing up. I had all the shit, you know, that, like, whatever. It still doesn't... It That shit doesn't matter in the long run. Like, if, like, your brain starts telling you shit, right? Your brain's like, nah, you're good. Like, you know? Yeah, oh, exactly. Man, I if it wasn't for fucking Twitter, it, like, I mean, not Twitter and Twitch, I wouldn't have met people like you, Toasty, like Zeke, Katie, all the people that hang out in my fucking chat. Pug, who lives, like, 20 minutes away from me, which is fucking bonkers. You know, it's like, it's so fucking cool, man. It's, the internet is such a, like, it. the best thing about the internet that, like, doesn't get any, I mean, because everything, like, in the world that we live in, we're only fucking negatives get brought attention it's like it brings so many people together it makes so many people know that they're not alone right and like f not being alone is something that is so fucking key to the human condition it's so important to the human condition because like we're a fucking social animal what's up david how you doing friend good to see you you, you beautiful man you and Jay Lang! 
I can see. I can see the light. <laughs> oh, man. It's good to see you guys today, man. It really is. I've just been talking about how fucked up the world is. Well, I mean, the, the problem with that is, like, Luker, it's like we live in a world now where, like, being direct, like, when we all got cut off, right, from the world, when COVID happened and we all had to get, you know, go isolated and all that shit, like, you lost so much of that anyways, right? You lost, like, being, dude, I have friends, I kid you not, like, 0.6 miles away that I haven't seen the dude since September, and that was, like, for a wrestling thing we watched at my house. And it's, but like, I I have a fucking godson that I haven't seen in three years at this point because of the fucking, uh, I mean, Jay, you saw what happened in Texas, right? It's, it's like, it's a world where the fucking, and I'm going to get banned from Twitter eventually for calling people like Ted Cruz monsters, but like, I don't even give a fuck at this point. And Luker, like, I think. What the fuck? Jay, I, I, oh, the only thing that I have to say, and this is, this is, you don't have to go in and take anything, Jay. All I can say at this point is that I don't want any, like, this is how I view everything with this. You shouldn't be able to walk into a fucking store and buy a gun in 15 minutes. That is my fucking take on everything. That is my r true take on the whole situation there. I bought a pistol five or six uh, years ago. I don't want to take all guns away. That's not it. I enjoy firearms. I don't want you to be able to walk into a fucking gun store and buy a fucking gun in 15 minutes. I want background checks. I want you to be able to fucking go, hey, if you've been fucking arrested for fucking, like, like, domestic assault, uh, uh, abuse or something like that, you can't do any of that stuff. That's what I want. I don't want you to take guns away because guns aren't the fucking problem. Guns are a problem that need to be addressed, but they're not the problem. Yeah, it, they do. But man, but they don't, like, I don't think there's enough reasons that they stop you from getting a gun then, right? Like, I don't know what the reasons are. Yeah, yeah, they do, Jay. Yeah, 15 minutes, Toasty, to buy a pistol. 15 minutes. How insane is that? And guess what? A pistol can do just... I mean, it's not going to do AR damage, but it does a good amount of damage. CJ, I'm not I'm not going extreme here. I, dude, I, I own firearms. I don't want to say take all guns away. I just want the world to be a place where it's, you know, I think gun shows need to be fucking fixed. I don't think you should be able to sell fucking guns at gun shows. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Jay, I had a concealed carry permit. Guess what? I said, this isn't for me because I don't like the way it makes me feel. At that point, I'm going, okay, if something bad happens and I, if the gun, I'm okay going into that situation without having it. I, because it's just what I believe in and what I. I don't ever want to hurt anyone. Never want to hurt anyone. So, I mean, dude, that's why, like, I, dude, I grew up in a conservative house that has lots of guns. I, I just, I, the fact that we've been through everything we've been through and haven't done anything to change it. I haven't done anything. It's fucking insane. What's up, Berserker? Oh, yeah, Jay. Jay, Jay. 
I have plenty of friends, man, that I go, if anything, anyone ever hurt them, their kids, I wouldn't want to see what happens. Oh, yeah, Jay. Completely understand. But the today, you know what today did? And I, I said this to my buddy. I was like, today is a day where I go, I'm glad I don't have fucking children right now. Because this world fucking sucks. This country sucks. This fucking world sucks. That we can't, like, even protecting our children is, like, too much of a fucking hassle for these goddamn politicians. But you know why? Because they'll get fucking sponsored by the fucking NRA. And I'm sorry, fuck the NRA until the end of time. Fuck the NRA. You fucking suck, you pieces of shit. How you doing, Zoe? I'm just fucking angry right now, man. I don't know how we get to a point where people think it's okay for fucking the innocent children to fucking uh fucking get murdered in school. Oh yeah. I mean, but Jay, the kid was 18, so he could have bought it. I, I did, dude. I haven't re read any more about the thing, but he was 18. He could have bought it, especially in fucking Texas. Yeah, Tosi, please hug your little one for me. Hug your little one and fucking love him, man. I, I, when I say I'm happy, I don't have kids. That's more of a, I, I don't know what I have to do with this. Like, I'm happy I don't have kids because it it's a thing where I go, at least I don't have to, like, I don't have to worry about any of my, you know, youth, like, living in a world like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jay. There you go. There's another thing you could do. Maybe not buy a gun until you're fucking 25. How can you buy a gun at 18, but you can't fucking get car insurance at 18? Dude, you're not a real person. Your brain's growing until you're fucking 22 or 25 or 23. Yeah. Yeah, Berserker. It's... Dude, I didn't know who the fuck I was until my 30s. Like, and I'm still figuring shit out about myself. It's like... It's why I say... I say this all the time. Having kids go into college and pick their major degree and get tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in fucking debt as a fucking 18-year-old moron is one of the dumbest things in the fucking world. Yeah, exactly. Because guess what? The fucking brain keeps going. We find out about ourselves. How do you find out about who you are? You find out about who you are through living. And experiencing. And guess what 18-year-olds haven't done? <laughs> Lived or experienced anything. Damn. Oh, Luke, our, our educational system is beyond fucked. We have a system that is literally decided that paying teachers is way too much of a hassle. So the only people, the only people who fucking become teachers now are A, people who actually care about the children, which I think is a, a large percentage of it. But there's also a por portion of people who become teachers because they don't want to work for three months a year. Oh, dude, Lucas, it's, I don't know if Lucas, so I think it was Reagan, Ronald Reagan, who was a president in from 80. To, or from 80 to 88, he basically went, you know, with all these people getting degrees and everything like that, uh, they're going to fight back, and we can't have that. Like, So we're going to make it so they spend the rest of their lives paying off their student loans. I learned about that recently. What? <laughs> Who's this? You were in that picture. You and that grumpy old man sure seemed to hit it off, huh? So, you want to do some rescuing? So you're up to it with a toy like that? 
You need his power, right? Yeah, but I don't know where they took him. So you haven't realized it yet, then? Your connection to him is still there, you know. What? This, give it this to him for me. It's important. Yep, Berserker, it was, uh... Oh, Jake, it's complete. We've got, we've come into a world where people have decided that telling kids that they're, they're they want to be friends with their children instead of fucking being parents. Which is fucking insane. All the, all the fucking, uh, memes that come out, came out of that trailer with the Christian Bale, like, American Psycho memes were fucking what? wonderful. Is this... Oh, dude, I, I, Jay, I assume it's the hardest thing in the fucking world. I assume that there isn't a harder thing in the world. What the? Than being a fucking parent, man. Note from Rinko. I prepared something you, you should be able to use. This is pretty much all I can do for you right now. Th you're going to have to figure things out. So she was not, like... Think of talismans summon shrubs that obstruct a visitor's line of sight. These bushes make for perfect hiding places to sneak around undetected. That's, uh... Oh, dude, Chris Hemsworth is is a fucking gorgeous man. <laughs> oh, Jay, it was an angry. F I mean, dude, you, that was that can't be, can't be anything besides fucking hatred. That's hatred bound up. That's all that is. That's hatred. There's nothing else that can be. Where's the fucking, um... Oh. How do I change my talismans? Dude, the, the people decided, like, when the fucking world came to it, that they, when the world got busy and when everything else like that, they decided that they were going to be friends with their kids and not, like, be fucking parents. And now, I don't think that, like, stuff like we should be beating our kids, like, right? I don't think spankings help. But, like, dude, my, my fucking dad made me, like, afraid of him without... He only spanked me a couple of times. Like, I remember, like, being a real asshole in, like, sixth grade and coming packed past dark. And it must have scared the shit out of him because he fucking whipped my ass with a belt for the one and only time. But, like, it's... Like, it's amazing how, like, being afraid of your parents <laughs> growing up is, like, it does something, man. Because then you don't want to fuck up and, like, you know, because if they're your friends, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, no, Mel. Mel, that's fucking shitty, man. Oh. And I know you don't have, like, all the fucking resources either, Mel. I was telling Katie earlier my fucking mother-in-law has been eating fucking THC, like, oil or whatever, like, from baking. Like, just eating it. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, woman? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, I, again... I, I only have so much I could say out loud that make, is, like, legitimate, like, and is going to come across as anything besides me being an asshole because I don't have kids. But, like, I don't know, man. It's... I I was in high school when fucking... Uh, when Columbine happened. So, like, I have some sense of, like, what the world has changed since then. You know? So, I don't know, man.
Tosi, because you're a good person and you want fucking, you want like to like have children. You want that. There are plenty of fucking people in this world who fucking children are an accessory, not a fucking like a, something they need to worry about. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, Luker. I mean, it's. I don't know how to say it without like. And I wasn't afraid of my dad all the time, but like when I fucked up, I didn't want to know what was gonna happen. I was fucking horrified of what happened when I fucked up. Well, dude, think about it. Every single one of these fucking right wing wackos with the like, and I not saying all right wing people are wackos because I grew up right wing that that fucking and guess what? Every single one of these school shootings has been with people with the, that side of the aisle beliefs. Um, fucking um, were raised by parents who fucking instilled like I think hatred was a fucking part of their fucking being raised, you know? Jay, I, 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 I've been very, very about these things for a very long time. I just, I don't know what to do in a country, though, that has, the, in the last, dude, in the last 20 years specifically, since fucking, uh, Dude, there is so much good here, right? And that's what's so fucking heartening, disheartening about it. But the, ever since the fucking shit, like the the twenty uh, the twenty four seven fucking uh, news cycle shit, it's fucking like taken all of our problems and like poured gasoline on the fucking problem. The the modern day Republican Party is a direct fucking results of Fox News. Well, I know it's not, Jay. That's why I laugh all the time when I say because the media acts makes it seem like we're the only fucking, like, fucked up place in the world. Dude, that shit exists everywhere. It's just we're the fucking, the, the center stage of it, right? Like, Yep, Jay. Yep. I mean, I, I I see it perfectly, and it was a tweet that fucking happened. I don't after, like, after Sandy Hook happened, where they were like, "Hey, guess what? America has just proven that they don't give a fuck." Because if they gave a fuck, Sandy Hook would have changed something. That's really the most dis, the fucking disheart the disheartening part of it is the it's the apathy of it all right like when nothing happened after that shit it's it's a fucking it's a it's worse than anything else how do you ever happen where a fucking classroom of fucking kindergartners gets murdered and nobody does anything about it yeah i know jay dude hey so this is the thing, man, that two things, two things became very, very, very apparent when Donald Trump became president. And after four years of Donald Trump becoming president, all these, there is a vast majority of these motherfuckers that are completely fake, which I mean, we, we pretty much knew beforehand, but look at all the things that these assholes said about Donald Trump while he but when he was running for president and then the fucking shit they said with him about him right after january 6th last or yeah last year look at all that shit combine those two things and you go all these people care about is power that's the only thing that they care about and the second thing that became apparent from that is that the fucking wackos in the shadows went oh you mean i could come out into the light and say my crazy shit out loud to everyone and no nope, people are gonna vote for me cool because I legitimately believe most of the people who fucking are Trump supporters really aren't Trump supporters. They're using Trump's name as a fucking, you know, stepping stone. Oh, yeah, they are, Jay. Dude, it's a fucking system where all these motherfuckers do is line their own goddamn pockets. 
fucking Ted Cruz in his fucking bullshit with the fucking um paying back his loans after fucking getting back he basically used the fucking uh the fucking all that shit in the Supreme Court which his fucking good old buddy Donald Trump had fucking uh, uh lined up for him to fucking line his own goddamn pockets and it's it's with two parties it's just fucking it's it's irrehensibly broken <laughs> puck i'm sorry i'm fucking angry right now i'm fucking angry at everything that happens in this fucking world that like that this is okay i'm just venting cuz it just happened i'm just angry I'm just angry, man. I'm angry. Is he here? Oh yeah, Jay, he's the only one. The fucking Democrats all sit there and go, sit there and twiddle their thumbs and do jack shit. Dude, I don't like the Democrats either. I will vote for them as a fucking alternative for the fucking other side, but. Sure, Mel. Dude, the fucking Democrats, it's, it's, they may be worse because of the not doing anything about it, Jay. Yep. Who's, you're, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. And it needs to be fixed, but guess what? Who's gonna, the, the, it's why you say all the time, you go, the fucking key and, and everything that needs to be fixed is impossible, cause, cause guess what? Everything that needs to be fixed has to be fixed by the fucking, uh, by the people who are have used the system to get to where they are. I mean, Mel, my my two my first two steps, my first two steps in fixing everything, are term limit term limits, and campaign finance fixing. Campaign finance fixing is probably number one. If we, I, if, as I say it out loud, because the corruption is really how we get to this fucking situation where you're not fucking getting lining your pockets doing this shit. And two, it's just like you can't have fucking career politicians, man. Oh, dude, did I fucking called him a monster berserker. Did you see that? Yeah, Jay. It's the fuck. It's the same thing with the fucking uh, the fucking um, the pharmaceutical companies, right? They don't want to fix shit. They don't want to cure shit. They just want to make it so. Oh, you could live with this. Guess what? You have to pay eighty bucks a month on a fucking medication. But oh yeah, exactly, Toasty. Dude, I mean, look at it. Like you watch, you watch fucking Biden, who's who's 79, almost 80, just sit there and go like, just have like senior moments. The motherfucker's almost 80. Like, your brain is not fucking functioning correctly anymore. Like it's breaking down. Why not? But Jay. Jay, that like that gets to be a real sticky situation real fast. <laughs> because as you get older, Jay, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Jay. <laughs> oh man. I it it well, dude, the problem too and 
this the idea of capitalism is wonderful, but it isn't. It's it's capitalism has continued to break the uh, to build the rules in its own favor. And guess what happens because of that. God damn it. What the fuck was that? That was weird, man. That kid must have been too like uh like powerful, right? Oh yeah, Toasty. Exactly, who's like who we have a Supreme Court justice whose wife was part of the January 6th insurrections, deciding that abortions aren't shouldn't be legal. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck. How off how how long can you scream into the void without and go? and go, is anyone listening? Gothic, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, friend. I'm sorry, I'm kind of venting as we speak. I'm kind of venting. Can I have to go around, I guess? Yeah, I know who's like what I'm saying more is that the problem the problem is Yeah, thanks goth. I the problem is with that the the capitalism is the best option. You're completely 100% right. The problem is when the system we have has allowed the fucking uh the the fucking capitalism to fucking decide all the rules for how long you get the current situation we have like go goes back to campaign financing again right the fucking uh when you're allowed to pay politicians off which they're basically allowed to do you get to make the rules yeah i know i it it's I try, dude, I try to be this to be a happy, fun place most of the time. Like, I'm more concerned about building an environment for my community that's, like, you know, a good time than most other things. But, man, it's just you get into something like today and you just go, how fucked is the entire world? And it's, I mean, in my way, the entire world, I mean, you know what I mean. But... Well, dude, I have been fighting being down and pissed off a lot over the last few weeks because it's been, it's been like fucking gut shot after sh gut shot with everything happening, right? Well, I know I, and, and, and I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm tr not trying to tell you guys like I, how to live or how to do this or what. I'm just telling you how I see everything and how I like view everything and how I wish the world was like it it fucking sucks as the human condition being that there is a large let me kill this guy and then how did that kill you is that greed is, AKA interest over self, over everyone else, is a, an extremely prevalent thing, right? And that's the kind of stuff though, and we go back to not raising children, right? Where you go, if you don't teach your kids to care about others and to love others and to, to be there about love. This is what happens.
Oh yeah. Who's I, I I didn't go into the specific details either because I it would have I would have been crying instead of streaming right now. Um We we ignore mental health care and uh, mental health in this country. Mental health is a a afterthought to everything else happening. I mean that goes back Oh, you fucking asshole. That's why... See, this is the thing, right? Look at how America treats homelessness. And you go, okay. Because I honestly believe... This is a true thing. And I, I, I know I'm off base and exaggerating a little bit. There is a large percentage of people that are homeless... And I would say a large, large percentage of people who are homeless, who are homeless for a long time, who have mental health problems. Because I believe in lots of places, not everywhere in this country, but in lots of places, there are resources for you once you're homeless to try to help you get back on your feet, right? So I feel like there's issues for a lot, not saying everywhere, because the is the how we treat those people are fucking it's 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 a fucking travesty but the people that don't there are people that don't even try not to be homeless right that like that because they're they they have like schizophrenia they're addicted to drugs they're addicted to alcohol whatever you think which i'm sorry addiction to drugs and alcohol is a fucking mental issue because like it's you know it's a mental illness you're be mentally ill and i'm not shaming anyone addicted to drugs or alcohol that's not what i'm saying but if we fucking stop treating everyone like who has an issue, like a fucking outcast. What's up, Beefy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Tosi. I, I feel like it's most who aren't trying to get out of it, you know? It's the, the ones that that are there for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. It, living like that isn't, I don't think, for most people is not something you want to do, right? So, yeah, Zoe, I'm just kind of, I mean, uh, Zoe is telling you, but yeah, Beefy, I'm just kind of complaining about, I mean, Beefy's in Texas, right? So Beefy knows. Fuck, man. I, I, I'm just waiting for my Twitter account to get uh, fucking, uh, uh, the fucking uh, uh, cut off because I called fucking Ted Cruz a monster. Yeah. They like Japanese versions of the cube from Hellraiser, by the way, is what it kind of reminds me of. I mean, that's about right, too. You sound like I knew was coming to rescue you. Rescue? Let's not dress it up. You're here because you need my power. Am I wrong? Why the the characters in this game look like like a little bit cartoony? Where do you A woman at your hate safe house gave it to me. Huh? Huh? She's still alive? Yeah. No. <laughs> Love you, Tosi. Thanks for hanging out, friend. I'm just more saying I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, kicked off of Twitter for it at some point or suspended, but got nothing to do with you. All the matters are on the same path as me and you. I'll hang on to this. So you coming or what? That's how you ask someone a for a favor. I'm not asking. It's an offer. And neither of us has much choice. <laughs> Hope you don't regret it. Does it, it, it. Like, am I the only one who sees that? Like, it, the, like the characters are kind of like action figurey. Like they have that. Their skin doesn't look quite like skin, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but. Oh god, more of the little the fucking little 
Georgies are a fucking pain, man. Friends of yours? Yeah, make them feel at home, would you? Fine, fine, I'll show them a good time. Schoolgirls trying to kick my head in. Yeah, beefy, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, it's like they're not, they don't have that soft look to them. They don't have that soft, like it's, it's not that far off, but it's, it's just an aesthetic, I think, really. What the? The earth just pissed into the sky. Earth just pissed into the sky. Time's wasting. Let's move. And all that matters right now, anyways, is I love you, motherfuckers. You are all fucking dope. Okay, let's. The light's coming from the northeast. First, we gotta cleanse this place and get rid of the fog. I mean, I saw a. Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw the. This. Beefy, I love you, buddy. And I never want. I want all my Texan friends to know that I love you and the, the, the pieces of shit running that government. Like, I don't hate you for any of that. Because I know, I know, the crazy fucking extremists that are in your state vote for those people. So that woman's a friend of yours, right? Who, Rinko? Don't know if I go that far. Meaning? We're work friends. Doesn't mean we need to get along. <laughs> We're going, pug. But Pug, I'm gonna be myself, and if that throws you off sometimes, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just gonna be me. Being real and being me are my, the ultimate core fucking, uh, beliefs of this fucking stream. <laughs> so... If sometimes that pushes you away from the stream for a little bit, okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, I, Pug, we live in a world that's weird, man. Pugoglig is now following. Did you unfollow me, Pug? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna time you out, Pug. <laughs> you asshole. You unfollowed me? Oh. Oh. I'm just giving you a shit, Pug. I 
I mean, I it's a it's a if we don't voice our fucking uh, disappointment with the world, how's it ever get better, man? How does it ever get better? A report written by KK regarding uh, people disappearing in the fog. Okay. What's up, Greg? How you doing, buddy? You miss Rod ranting because of the the world we live in. Okay, we got 20 points. So... That's less important. I don't care about that right now. Fire ray. That might be. Okay. Greg, how you doing though, buddy? That cat is like singing some weird little song and I don't know what's happening. Is the cat on the other side? I think so. Where's the little kitty? <laughs> How's things? Can I interest you in a little work? not have that 130,000 damn Greg is one of the good ones and I love him I love all you guys man anyone who hangs out here with my bullshit I appreciate you and just like trying to build a community that's fucking dope, man. It just means a lot. And it's fucking hard, man. Building a community that's like a good, safe space is not easy. <laughs> fuck. What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> People think Oni are the, these big scary demons, but it turns out they're actually not so bad. Yeah, the word Oni originally came from the word Onu. It means something unseen. In old times when something terrible happened, people blamed an Oni, what they couldn't see. So where'd you spot this Oni? Well, there was this dog over there with a bandana. So I gave him a Kibi Dango. And then he just called out the Oni. A dog who likes Kibi Dango. Sounds like they're just that old fairy tale Momotaro. So what? We've got a dog now? Give me a break. Wait, are you worried about the dog? Then the Oni? Me? Hell no. Fuck. Where? Is that fog? I don't even understand what's like hitting me. I guess that fog is there. We gotta search for a dog with a bandana. Hear it. There he is. Is that him? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a bandana. Don't eat too fast. You can tell me things now? That's good. Thanks a lot. Well, Mr. Doggy, Doggy, where's your. Is there another doggy around here with that bandana? I need a doggy with a bandana. Melky, what's up, buddy? Poppy? Woof! Woof! What's 
Where? <laughs> Luker's good people. He's Luker's just uh, uh, giving Luker shit is fun. God damn it. I don't see the. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm not looking for fog well enough. Where? Oh, there he is. They're all the exact same dog. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit, Luker. Let's read his thoughts. Hey, Mott, you know where we can find an Oni? Sure, but you gotta give me some Kido Dango first. Okay. Show us, Mr. Poppy. Jay, he's uh, doing good. I, I'm i pretty sure earlier when I came home, like, I worked at... I was at work for half a day when I shouldn't have been, and... Uh, I turned around earlier, and I think he was throwing up and eating it. <laughs> but he's got a sensitive stomach all the time. Like, he, uh... We have to give him probiotics. Or, like, he, he gets a really upset stomach, but... But he's doing good. He's all brat as usual. Stop hitting me. They're trying to eat the pop eight. So much. Leave that puppy alone. God damn. Yeah, God, it's like, where the fuck do I s Like, I feel like you have to be, like, in this weird position where, like, I don't understand why... Looks like we're good now. Okay, I'll call him out now. Like, you have to be looking for it, Gothic. Whoa, it's a real Oni. It's been awful. Those guys kept coming after me. They wouldn't leave me be. They were after your power. That's why they attacked you. If you give it to us, is that okay? Think you can trust us? Sure, I trust you. I hate fighting anyways. Go ahead and take my power. I don't want it. It's done. Thank you for your aid. Oh, he's giving me oh, one of those things. Okay. Okay, Luker. Have a good night. And uh, I'll see you later, friend. I love ya. Love ya. Okay. God damn it. The fucking controls. Uh, let's see. Inventory. No. No. What are you doing? How do I use that thing I just picked up? I don't remember after not playing for a couple days.
God damn it, Pug. Pug, don't be a problem child. I love you. Well, the thing is, they remind me of Onimusha with the with the the power ups in that game that we just finished. That's why I'm confused. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. 